Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering how I got myself in this situation, and we're gonna get into the full story of that. But I need to tell you that I've been making fun of my friend because he fell a couple trips ago, and then today, this happens to me. But first of all, let's tell the story of how it all happened. Good intro. Thanks, man. All right, today we're doing something actually, whoo, pretty interesting. We're fishing for shark bait. Now, we don't know where any Jack Ravel are, so we're gonna be targeting sheephead. And uh, we got some live shrimp, and we're gonna hope this boat is gonna attract them. That's actually Jeff's new boat. How much did it run you? 4K. Dang, good deal, boy. I'll say it again, these look like some nice shrimp, actually. We're gonna be doing different things. I'm gonna be using the, uh, ugh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Ugh. <laughs> Relax, everybody relax, okay? I'm gonna be using the popping cork with a uh, octopus style hook and then Jeff is gonna be using the lime lemon rig, rig or lemon rig with a circle hook, right? Yep. Lime rig, you're right. Don't you think small shrimp would be better for sheeps? Yes. I do believe. Mm. J hook? I have actually smaller J hooks that I brought too. Octopi. It is? Or is it, I guess it's a beak hook. That's a J hook, dude. No, it's a beak hook. A B hook? Beak. And you can actually use sheep's head for bait, for shark. Believe it or not, they are not game fish. That's why you can go out and spear them or even shoot them with a bow and stuff. What we also could try for is flounder, because you can use flounder for bait too, man. <laughs> Pretty crazy. And the reason why flounder aren't, uh, aren't game fish, I think the only reason is because you can gig them. And People don't want to give up their gigging. Oh, there was a bite. That was a pinfish though, guaranteed. It pulled it under, so who knows? Let's see what happened. Yeah, it pulled the body off. Got one? Oh yeah, baby. I could, uh, pretty, if you want to keep it for a small one, did you bring the bag? Yeah. I'll... Now remember, Jeff, they're called pinfish for a reason. They have some very sharp spines, okay? So, Be careful right, with it. Thanks. Woo, there's those spikes, man. Man, hold that baby That's up. Right. Hold that baby up. It's a trophy right there, man. I'm going to get it mounted. <laughs> <laughs> did fall, dude. <laughs> getting loopy out here. How did you get down here? Recovered. Pinfish attack. We're getting attacked by pinfish. That's the problem with using any kind of shrimp, really. Oh, is it a pinfish? I think we caught a pinfish, yeah. Oh, a mangrove. Grover. That's a giant mangrove, dude. Look at that guy. Little little micro mangrove. Little snapper. You don't want to put your finger in front of their mouths because they're always snapping, as their name would suggest. We're going to get this guy back, though. Cool little freaking fish, though. Awesome. See you, bud. Now, if we could get a bigger one, that would be the best. Because I haven't had a tug. Yeah. The tug is the drug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a nice pinfish bite. Oh. That was a real nice mangrove. Yeah. Little grover. That's nice. big enough, dude. It's slightly bigger, I would keep it, but. Ah, such a beautiful fish, though. Such beautiful shark bait. Wow, I didn't even hook him in the mouth. <laughs> and the cheek. Nice. Cheek hooked. Ooh. The... See you, bud. Same size as the pinfish? Yeah. 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 There's a, something. Whoa. A lady. Dang it. Shoot. Oh, it's tangling you. Here, l land it, brother. Oh, no. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. I need help, actually. Give me a hand, brother. Oh, oh shoot. 
pull my clutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Dang it, dude. <laughs> and it got off. <laughs> Dang it. It's okay. Oh, man. You can't even eat that when you're there. It looks like it hurts so bad. You're bleeding a little bit on your, on your uh, yeah. side there. How did that happen? Oh, I think I stepped right here. Yeah, and that, you stepped in that crack right there. Crack kills, man. Well, I guess, I guess that's kind of what I get. I've been making fun of Jeff for falling, and then I fell, and I actually took the most damage. He's fallen like two or three times, and he hasn't got hurt that much. It's actually not that bad. It's just uh, a couple scrapes. We'll make sure to put some stuff on it. But yeah, man, you got to be careful at the jetties and stuff like this. Don't fall. Good thing it's getting colder and we don't have to worry about Vibrio as much, but I'll definitely clean it up. Luckily, this doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt too bad. Maybe it'll hurt tomorrow, though. <laughs> I'm trying to think what's the worst I've ever got hurt while fishing. I've stepped on a hook before. I got stuck in my foot. Well, that wasn't too bad. We just yanked it right out. I've actually walked over a hook that was on a line, and I broke the line with my foot. But I haven't gotten hurt too bad, I don't think. What about you, brother? Yeah, but what? What's your worst injury? Just whenever I slipped and cut my foot open. Cut your foot open? Yeah. Was it deep? Yeah. Dang. That's bad. Uh, what do you want to say? Uh, I was thinking if we don't catch any big baits, we can just cut off my leg. It's nice and bloody. Uh, that thing's pretty gruesome, man. About? I guess I'm not. There's a guy. Oh. It's an absolute. Oh, wow. I got that jump on camera, dude. You think? <laughs> That might be too... Finally. Whoa. Dude, how many of these are out there right now? There's a few out there. Back, right? Yeah. What? I want a bigger one, dude. Dude, that one was giant. <laughs> There's a guy. See how he flew over the jetties? I don't think I can use that. I can get that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's big enough? Dude. Stop, bro. Yeah. Stop. All right, here's what we've got so far. Only two ladies and a pinfish. Not exactly premium shark baits, but we're going to see if these ladyfish hold up overnight. Because they do, I mean, my intelligence says that they get mushy real quick. But last time they didn't get too mushy, so we'll see if they last this time. You know what you folks are going to say? You're saying we should fish for Jack Crevel, but right now... I don't know anywhere to target them specifically, and uh, we could buy some, but you know, it's always more fun to buy, catch your own bait. All right, so I got dark out there real quick. We got a few baits. We need to get home now and start rigging up our sharp, 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 sharp gear. Well, I think it's time for the real pain now. Time to clean this sucker up, put some alcohol on it. You know, it's not, it's not really a dangerous cut, not life-threatening at all, but if it got infected, it would be bad. So we're gonna clean it up. Here's the tools of the trade. We got some Bactine, alcohol, and uh, antibiotic, and a nice rag to get off the blood. All right, so as expected, cleaning that wound up on my leg, it did not feel good. The whole point of this episode was supposed to be catching bait for sharks. It kind of got derailed because I'm I'm pretty clumsy, I guess. So the only true shark fishing setup I have is this guy right here, the Pin 9-0. It's kind of a staple of sh shark fishing because these things are near impossible to break and they can hold a good amount of line. This guy, I think it has 600, 700 uh, yards of 50 pound mono. And you need that capacity to run those baits out in the kayak at the beach. But well, my boy Jeff got a couple setups of his own. He got two nine knots and he's got those. They have even more braid on them than I have mono. We actually went shark fishing about a week ago and we have my shark setups. They kind of got messed up a little bit, but they're still good to go. So we're gonna need to retie these suckers. All right, shark, if you didn't know this, I don't know if you knew this, but shark are some toothy critters. So we got some wire leader on here. Got a 16 aught circle hook. I, I'm always gonna use circle hooks when I'm shark fishing just because it's a little bit safer for the sharks themselves. And then we got something like 200 pound wire leader here. Two, eh, about three feet of that wire leader. And then we have some 200 pound mono uh, leader as well. And this goes on for about 
let's say eight feet. You want that, you want this mono part to be as long as the shark you're gonna be catching. Hopefully, hopefully at least. Hopefully you catch the shark that big. All right, brothers, I'm gonna get to retying these leaders, fixing them up. Wish us luck tomorrow. I really hope we can get a good shark or else this was all for nothing. This leg action was all for nothing. But I think we'll get something good. Maybe some new PBs. Oh, this is just a tangled mess, man. All right, see ya. But I still need to actually, I do need to fix these up. And I'm gonna. Oh.